my nephew Sean and third and most important happy birthday to my beautiful baby girl she turned 21 today <laughs> put a pretty face <laughs> <laughs> so I am adding some of the stuff back into my diet that the nutritionist told me I can do I'm still having egg beaters, um, although she said an egg now and then is not bad, but I'd still rather have the egg beaters and have them more often because I love my eggs. And um, she said I can add meats back in, so, and I'm supposed to have 30 grams of carbs per meal. I don't know if I'll go as far as 30 per meal, but I will add some carbs back in. So this morning what I'm having is my Eggs McNeighbor. So it's I'm Eggs McNeighbor Light. Eggs McNeighbor Light. <laughs> um, although I am having a English muffin, which one English muffin, <clears throat> excuse me, is 30 grams of carbs right off the bat. So, I am going to be having my 30 grams of fat, uh, 30 grams of carbs there. And with my egg beaters, I'm going to have some onions that I just cut up, some mushrooms that I just cut up, and I'm going to cut up this piece of turkey ham. And cook all that in with the egg beaters. And that's going to be put onto my English muffin. Yes, it is. Okay. And Kevin doesn't want one. I'm having coffee. Coffee. This way he'll be human again. <laughs> Camera shy. Brian, it's my birthday! <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Megan. Thank you. Um, <laughs> hold on my ear. Can, can we get a birthday kiss? Aww. Okay, so since I have some room in my garage, I've uh, decided to start cleaning up in the backyard. Uh, we have some company coming over tomorrow. So uh, I started back here besides the garage and started. We had a lot of junk. And this is our wood pile for doing. Uh, uh, fire pit stuff and it's uh, in chaos right now so I want to clean that up and cover it with the tarp that tarp needs to be replaced we have leaves everywhere because the wind's been blowing I got stuff to clean up in the backyard and more leaves 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 and more leaves and I gotta see if I can get my lawnmower working so I can actually mow this lawn we've had to let it go because we couldn't afford the water to pay to uh, water it which is very sad because we spent a lot of money for this for this lawn. So that's what I'm doing. We got some really nice flowers going on back here. They haven't really been tended to. Some really nice weeds too. Awesome. This side over here is dying. I'm gonna have to water it. Did I upset you, Boots? Bootsy? Bootsy, I'm talking to you. Oh, you're just gonna walk away. Just gonna walk away. You can't have an adult conversation, can you? Now you're going to sit there and meow at me. What you doing out here, handsome? She's trying to throw some stuff away. Are you throwing that away? Yeah. Doesn't it work? Nope. Oh. 
trash can. It's hard to throw away a trash can since we've given them back to you. <laughs> You're funny. What are you doing? Trimming my beard. What are you supposed to be doing? Editing your vlog. How can you be editing a vlog when you're not even watching the vlog? I'm listening. You're not doing much interesting. I know, so you should be cutting stuff out. I will. Probably cut this whole section out. Okay, guys, so tonight we have some mahi mahi with some spaghetti swap. Spaghetti squash? <laughs> Spaghetti squash, mushrooms, and onions. So, first let me taste the vegetables. I don't know how Kevin's going to like them, but I think they're pretty good. And now for mahi mahi. Never had mahi mahi before. I just like saying mahi mahi. Tastes like fish? No. Um, again, though, I probably went a little overboard on the lemon. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Am I on? Yep. Veggies first? Yeah, we'll try your squishy squash. Okay. Can handle that? Yeah. Okay. You think it's okay? Yeah, it's good. My steak was a little thinner than yours. Yeah. So yours is a little more well cooked. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Gonna be able to do it? Yeah. Yay! Buddy. Wink, wink. <laughs> He's wearing winky today. Um, I'm going to start the shout outs out tonight on a little bit of a somber note. Sorry, but yesterday I kind of had a cryptic message going back and forth between me and Amber Rice. Well, she did get back to me, and I'll let everybody know what we were speaking about. Her cousins had a baby, and um, when she was younger, she was totally healthy, and her name is Zakaya. And when she turned seven months old, she started running really high fevers, and they couldn't figure out why. And she was diagnosed with with pneumococcal meningitis, pneumococcal meningitis, and, and septicemia. septicemia. And she was placed in an induced coma and put on a ventilator. And her parents were unable to touch her, and family was unable to see her. And this was back in um, January that I got the message from Amber. But I got a message from Amber today that she is getting better. However, she still has seizures every now and then. Um, their biggest issue is the feeding tube and vomiting. They cannot get the feed, keep the feeding tube in and Zakaya keeps vomiting. So she's not getting enough food and enough nutrients. So the really good news though is that the mother and father were finally able to hold her again and the brother and twin sister were able to finally see her. But they are hoping that they get the feeding tube and the vomiting under control quickly so that she does get the nutrients that she needs and that she will be able to go home with her family. So if everybody out there could please keep Zakaya, Amber Rice, and Zakaya's entire family in your thoughts and prayers and let's get this little girl home with her family as soon as possible. I'm sure everybody would really greatly appreciate it. So, thank you guys. And Amber, we're keeping Zakaya in our thoughts and prayers as well. Um, 
Trisha Weiss told me um, a sad story. Her mother also was diabetic and she lost her life to diabetes and um, it's very scary to me. I'm sorry Teresa that you lost your mother that way and um, it scares me but I'm so very glad that the doctors caught it early and we're doing the stuff that we are doing with me to to prevent it from getting to that point so but thank you for sharing your story and, and our prayers are, are with your mother and you and um, mom's vlog 80 let me start this at this point it's time for neighborhood community shout outs and I did that because Melody from Mom's Vlog 80 sings with me when I do that. <laughs> you don't cringe? You don't go... No, she sings with me. Oh, she okay. likes it. Yeah, okay. She likes it. But you all know um, the story about Mom's Vlog 80 and how Elijah, her son, is fighting neuroblastoma cancer. And... I would like to ask everybody to go to Elijah Kicking Neuroblastoma Facebook page and hit the About button and read Elijah's story. It is very heartfelt and touching and have some tissues because it did bring tears to my eyes. So if everybody can do that and also as always if everybody can go over to Mom's Vlogs vlog blah, 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 mom's vlog 80 and say that three times fast <laughs> i can't say it once and give her um thumbs up push that little red subscribe button and show the family some love if you can um donate go ahead and donate if you can't if you could buy a shirt buy a shirt but if you can't do anything just going over there and showing them some love and support um, is a big step. So please, if you guys can do that, that would be fantastic. Uh, Rocky! <laughs> no, Freckles will not be able to run away from you. He can't run. But when he rolls over onto his back, he's awful darn heavy. <laughs> Fuds 64. Yeah, if he passes a bubble, He'll blame it on everybody but himself and his precious little boomer. Yeah, me. Um, the spasmodic. I don't have a problem with you calling me Al. Not at all, spaz. No problem. Or oh, you could call me Al, or you could call me Bow. You can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay. Does anybody know what comedian he's talking about right now? You gotta go into the way back machine for that one. There's a trivia question for you guys. Wink, wink. <laughs> and that's about all Whoa. I have oh, man. Go ahead. for tonight. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so who, who got the, um... The, the answer for last night's question, uh, well, the question was, what was the town in My Bloody Valentine called in 2009's version and 1981's version? Terry Johnson was the first one to get it correct, and in 2009, it was called... Harmony. And in 1981... Valentine Bluff. And um, the comedian's not the only trivia question we have. We do have... Uh, 1986 uh, April Fool's Day movie. What was the body count in that horror film? There you go. There you go. Do you think? You're flat-headed. Do you think? You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. 
we would not be sitting here if it weren't for you out there. <laughs> we love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Thank you. Make sure to go by and check out the neighborhood zoo. <laughs> oh, this is going to get so long. The zoo, P-I-N, making tutorials, making art, blah, 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 blah. No, we don't, have, we don't have all those up yet. Right. So just it's right now, go by and check out the neighborhood zoo. And we're going to have a nibbling with the neighbors up in a little while because that goes up on Thursdays and today is Thursday. See you all tomorrow.